everybody. Welcome to the Psycho Car Workshop. Uh, we just finished our second build day. The guys just left and um, it looks like I'm going to do the in-between videos and Steve will document the build days. Got quite a bit of footage so keep an eye out for his videos coming up in two or three days. I took a few minutes and I worked on this. I used a hard grinding wheel and then a a, a sandpaper disc to clean this up so that's much better than it was that should work pretty good the uh, next thing that I'm going to do is uh, make and weld this straight rod here here I've done an angle cut to match up and then I have a little tab here that I'll weld on and then we'll bolt into the chassis the whole idea is that this whole substructure will unbolt and come away from the car. Okay, I have them located where I want them to be. I'm going to tack them and then I think I'll screw them down and then finish welding at that point. So let's get them tacked. I'll tack them on the top here. Okay, the chassis is now back inside. It's nice and air conditioned in here. It's it's over a hundred out in the welding shop there. Um, my focus right now is going to be on an end block right here. I want to rig something up, probably a piece of plywood as the core. Um, then I'm also going to focus on the hoop for the radiator. Um, first I have to uh, make some aluminum angles that we're going to use to shape it and I'll show you that here directly. It's about 47 inches from the bottom of the chassis all the way around. So I'll cut uh, two or three uh, aluminum strips because it might take a couple uh, tries to get it to get it right. I'm going to cut uh, three strips to make three of these angles. Uh, this is 40 thousandths aluminum. Uh, they're going to be four foot long. Uh, these are one inch legs, so I'm going to lay out three of them uh, at one inch increments. Um, the mark at the one inch center is the mark for when we bend it, for when we put it in the brake and bend it. That would be the reference line for that. I'm burning an inch. I 
I have marks at both ends just so I can make sure it's a square cut. Just eyeballing it to my mark. Okay, that looks pretty good. Of course, that's easier with two people. But there's the strip. So a couple more. three so I have some practice pieces. Now that, that's not too bad for one attempt. I think the radius looks okay. Let's put it on the cart and see what it looks like. I'd say this is shaping up pretty good. Looks okay. The sheet metal will lay over the top of that. There'll be a piece of plywood on the face of this which will be the base to the foam block that will get shaped and covered with the fiberglass. Um, We'll attach that uh, plywood, you know, through the flanges around here from the inside. My next goal would be to install this. I believe I'm going to put it right on top of this cross brace. My idea for attaching this frame to the steel chassis is this right here. I'll just cut the channel notch it around a couple of screws here and one right there and uh, that should hold it in place pretty good I have enough length here to do that and then later as the skin goes on that'll uh, make everything nice and stout here I did a little dry fit just to check it out uh, it looks pretty good. I wanted to make sure the height is right. This is supposed to be one inch shorter than the hoop at the cowl. And uh, if I put this on here, you can see there is a, it does run downhill one inch. That's the way the drawing shows it and it's nice when things work out that way. happy with the uh, way the radiator hoop turned out. It uh, fits the template 
and uh, it's one inch shorter than the hoop at the cowl so that should look just fine and uh, it's reasonably stout it'll get uh, stronger once we add some sheet metal but right now it's nice and light and then there'll be a piece of plywood on here uh, that will be the base of the foam block um, Dave is going to uh, shape the foam parts and then cover them with fiberglass so I think uh, now I'll move on to the rear subframe see if I can get that uh, put together and installed I've been thinking about this rear cover and uh, it needs to be removable um, we want to make it out of aluminum so it's lightweight uh, the upper part where the compound curves are that will be a piece of fiberglass um, so I don't have it completely figured out yet but I'm going to start with uh, welding a tab on the inside here here and over there then I can screw through into that tab and that will be the mounting points for those four locations I'm going to put an angle across the top here to stiffen that up and uh, I'm going to trim these off and either make a metal or plywood plate that goes in here maybe a gusset of some sort um, I was working on a gusset let's see here was a metal one do it out of aluminum, bend the corners up, rivet it in so that would be nice and stiff anyway I'm kind of working on it as I go so I'll show you where I end up with this I'm going to make the four tabs uh, right now I'm going to cut them and drill them and then weld them onto the under the frame here. After making those little tabs, you can see where I've welded them on, and then this will fit over. So I'm going to attach it, then you know, attach it on both sides, and then I can run a cross piece, and I can work to square up the back end here. I trim these off a little bit, but I want to get it secure on the front end, and then I'll. Oh, and then I have to hit a mark right down here, the third line in on each side. And then I can square up the tail. Eventually, once the skin goes over this, then this screw will go through the outer skin also, but temporarily, I'm just going to install it here. Running in those four screws firmed it up quite a bit. Barely moves now. There'll be a tab here on both sides to locate the bottom. And then I have to rig up something here. So I'm going to work on this next. All right, I added the cross piece. This thing is getting stronger by the minute. So I'm down to this tail piece here. Uh, I'd like it to be aluminum. You know, I could make this a piece of plywood real easy, but um, I want to try to create a gusset and a back plate uh, all in one piece. Um, so I have this pattern here you can see so let's see if I can so pull here I've transferred the pattern onto a piece of 40 thousandths aluminum I used a sharpie and then when I take it out to the bandsaw I'll cut right through the middle of the black line I'll just stay in the black line it's just wide enough and then I can file it and clean up the edges and that will yield a part that is the size of this here I've made the first two bends this piece and down here and it's fitting in there pretty good 
So the goal now is to bend these two tabs to this angle. And then uh, if I can get it to fit in there, okay. A couple of rivets. And that'll be ready for a piece of uh, plywood or something that will be the base of the tail. The tail block, I guess you could say. So I'm out here at the brake. Um, and this is a box brake, so you can set these leaves to where you could bend four corners of a box. And if it was steel or aluminum, you could weld the corners. But I adjusted uh, these four pieces to fit inside here. And now I'm going to try and bend this just to the right angle. Got to get it just right. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'll bend it. To right there. Whoo! Look at that. All right, let's get this other side. See how it fits. Well, that's not too bad. I'll have to massage it just a little bit, tweak it, get some rivets in it, file it. But uh, that think that'll work out pretty good because I was wanted to make an all aluminum tail if we could, except for. Of course, the fiberglass up here. plan comes together. This thing is fairly stout. You know, the skin will go over this and uh, that will uh, tighten it up significantly. And then on top of here, we'll plant a piece of foam after the skin is on, obviously, and then we'll shape it along with the tail. I'd have to say I'm happy with the progress in this segment. It was my goal to get the aluminum radiator hoop installed and the aluminum tail substructure and that has been accomplished. Uh, so I think that'll be the end of this segment. Um, like and subscribe if you would and uh, as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.